Hello you, welcome to Geekism, or welcome to Fabledom. This is a uh, sort of settlement city builder, uh, but with a uh, fantasy theme. Uh, made by the developers behind Kingdoms and Castles that we did play and enjoy back in the day. Um, this seems to be like their next sort of big project. And this is a, uh, this looks like a randomly generated map. That's a weird little uh, space there. And we're going to be looking for... A little bit of everything, I think, because I don't really know what we're necessarily looking for. I, I don't love the look of this one. We're going to randomize this. Let's see if it can... Something that's a little bit more open. Okay, this seems more interesting. Uh, we have a ferris here. It's a medium-sized realm with few hills and dense forest and medium ocean. Perhaps that's the one to go for. Let's try that. Okay. Uh, we have our little coat of arms here okay well i don't i actually quite like the colors i'm not a huge fan of the anchor though so let's see if we can have something a bit more uh a bit more geeky me. i love a good potion bottle there we go let's go for that uh all right let's uh we need a player name where did we type in our player name let's have a look uh, oh here we go i'm a prince looking for a princess i sure am and my name is johnty and our world is called a ferris uh excellent choice thank you what else do we have to uh, worry about here? Is this just going to be a little narrative for us? Let's see. Once upon a time it goes, a story told of love and woes, when all the kings and queens of yore sent forth their children to explore. New lands of plenty, fields and trees, Fertile, yielding, birds and bees. It's your turn, prince or princess you. Discover, conquer, daring do. Remember, friend, tis not just sword that makes one lady or a lord. To build a kingdom tis an art. But don't neglect your spirit's heart. Through love or war, these lands ignited shall ever after be united. Now go. Be kind, be cruel, be scrappy, and make your ever after happy. How adorable. Um... Well, we're definitely lovers, not fighters here. So, if there's an option to have uh, sort of non uh, non war, that's the one we'll be going for. But look at this. How does this look? Nice little village, uh, market town with the castle in the background. There are beanstalks, are plenty, numerous beanstalks. Um, so, I wonder whether giants will come down and uh, be a menace to society. We'll see. Okay, we can move the camera around. We can scroll and we can rotate by doing middle mouse that's good okay so we are i mean we're really starting uh small here we have a cart and four little guys they look awesome look at this dude look at this. the mustache is amazing three guys and a girl <clears throat> excuse me uh we're going to collect our coins uh we can build five gravel roads a laborer's hut and a laborer um okay so let's come down to here a laborer's hut uh i suppose i mean this looks like there's something over here Labourer perhaps seems generic. Uh, we can rotate around. Let's go there. Uh, and we're going to build Gravel Road. Uh, Fablings will always try to follow us to the best ability. Connecting roads to the blue arrow icons. Yes, yeah, so the front of the buildings. Uh, he wants me to put five down. I don't... There we go. I, I put five down. Uh, they'll walk faster on roads. That's good. And then we have to assign a labourer. So... A sign of work. Yeah, there we go. The young man there is going to be our laborer. We'll collect. Okay, so now we can need to build a homestead. So basics and essentials. So laborer homestead. Uh, houses three residents and employs a peasant. Okay. Uh, build two homestead attachments inside the new garden. Okay. Some buildings use foundations and attachments. After placing the homestead, home, hold and drag. Uh, okay. So... We're going to put the house down, and then we can give them that much spot there as their as their backyard. Okay, well that's cool. Fifty one coins. Do we have enough of that? Oh, we have like five hundred. That's fine. And then we can uh, add some attachments in. Uh, build two homestead attachments inside. Okay. Do we have to? 
Uh, do we have to build it first, perhaps? Happiness. This attachment adds happiness to the homestead residence, but not to anything else in the area. Okay. Oh, it's a dog house, I see. And a small chicken coop. Uh, this attachment produces the homegrown resource, can then be eaten by residents of the homestead. Well, that's fine. They get themselves some, some effort there. Uh, can we speed up time a little bit? The F keys. There we go. This, he's already got one labourer right now. He's doing all the work while the other three just kind of hang around. Although he's making speedy work of it, to be fair. Good for him. There we go. Uh, so this is where your families live and eat. A head of uh, household is required for the homestead to operate smoothly. So make sure one has been assigned. Okay. Uh, so manage household. Head of the household is Elise. Okay, cool. She's already done. And we need to build two little bonus bits. So uh, how do we how do we do this? Currently two of two. Oh no, I really like that build. Well me too, but you're making me you're making me build them, so uh now we can put them in. So a dog house, desirability, a house house, desirability. Small greenhouse, homegrown. That's good. Chicken coop, an apple tree, and a beehive. Well, I kind of like the idea of a beehive. And I kind of like the idea of a clothesline, to be honest. So let's let's do that. He's going to go and get the stuff for him. He's off. This guy's absolutely smashing it. There we go. Oh, I like the fact that we can pick what goes in those. Um, and we get our 10 coins for that. Great. Uh, we need to build a well, of course. Uh, well, well, well. Some builders only have effects a specific area. Of course they do. Right. So let's well let's go right in the middle here. Uh, or actually, let's go. There's no point in having it much that way. Uh, well, I mean, there seems like an absolutely fine spot for it. To be honest with you, um, there needs to be upkeep. Just requires some wood. Payments made. Income twelve coins. So we get some sort of rent from the homestead. That's good. Uh, and we need a second homestead as well. So. Let's put one here, and I guess three by three is enough. I don't. Oh, I see. Randomize. It's just picking stuff to do. That's fine. Well, for now, at least we'll we'll let them randomize that, uh, and we will continue the road here. There we go. And is that going to get built? Do we not have enough wood? What do we have in here? Oh, no, we have more than enough wood. He's just getting to work. Sorry, buddy. I don't mean to rush you. You're doing a grand job. Uh, there we go. Uh, every eight days, visitors will arrive at your borders if your kingdom seems desirable. You decide whether you allow them in or not. Okay. Two out of two visitors want to stay? They're peasants? Yeah, sure. Come on in. Um, we currently have six people, and each of these houses three, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Um, okay, we'll claim that. Uh, it wants us to build a farm. Seems like a solid thing to do. Resource production, I'm going to assume. No, that's a lumber camp. Food production, there we go. Farm. Uh, so, place 30 veggie crops. Where are we going to build our farm? Uh, let's go here. Um, and then we do gather vegetable grows over time. Yes, we want to... Newcomers will arrive soon. That's good. Only one type of crop is allowed. Yeah, I would like it to be vegetables. Oh, I see. Pla oh, we can choose. Uh, let's do ca uh, cabbage. Makes a solid soup. And we need to place 30 of them. So is that one? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, is that, I don't know whether that's 30 or not. Oh, there we go. Total 36 out of 40. Go for it. Oh, and the trees just magically disappear. There we go. Okay. And then as that gets built, we'll continue with our uh, dirt road here. There we are. Can you two please stop canoodling in the farm, please? Uh... Two out of two visitors want to stay. 
No, I don't want to dismiss you, but you're there. Okay. So luckily we have plenty of wood, right? We have 140. Oh, yeah, we've got lots of wood. We have lots of vegetables for them to eat. And we also have some stone, which we haven't seemed to use yet. Visitors will leave. We've, we've got you. Dismiss. Yes, it's fine. We've, we've taken you on. <clears throat> okay. Our farm is looking good. As soon as that gets built, we'll assign uh, Hugh Brown to start working the farm. And it does say that we can have multiple. Whether or not we need to, I don't know. Uh, but next up, we need a, a lumber camp. So let's take a look at where our... I mean, we kind of have trees all over the place, actually, so that's not too bad. We also have stone up there as well. So perhaps over here can be our uh, resource zone. Yeah, there we go. That seems to be a good... Uh, we'll put that there with a view to... Uh, There we go. Oh, look at the little puddles in the paths. That's very sweet. Uh, we can give somebody the job of lumber woodworker. Cool. Uh, okay, so they get start chopping down trees. He's off already. Look at that. We can place down decorations. We can make the place look pretty. I'm all about that. Uh, decorations. Here we go. So we have flower pots. We have plants. We have a little wooden bridge. I mean, that's just adorable. I don't know where that goes, but I love it. And we have these little benches. They take up a whole chair, though, eh? Oh, no, they can go... Oh, okay, they can go... Does that still count if it's on the path there? They can still walk past it. Oh, and they can go and have a little sit. Oh, my goodness. We like being able to go and have a little sit. And what's this? A public outhouse. My goodness. Uh, oh, and lots to unlock as well. That's great. And we can do a really beautiful tree that sort of makes that area there look a little nicer. I'm pretty sure we dismissed those guys, did we not? There we go. We got 20 gold for that. Nice. Uh, reach population milestone Hamlet. Okay, where can we see what that looks like? The next milestone Hamlet 10. Nice. All right. So let's build a, another house then. Homestead. And we'll go here. Entrance is blocked. Why is the entrance blocked? Oh, because of that bench. That's fine. Um, I don't want to randomize these now. I want to put a doghouse in. And I want to put an apple tree here. There we go. I want to start selecting these and choose them as I see fit. Excellent. And then we'll put another one in. Uh, whoops. There, yes. Boop. And then... They can have a slightly larger homestead area over here. And you can also have a doghouse. And... Uh, well, let's, actually, let's not put a doghouse in this one. Let's do a chicken coop and an outhouse. There we go. A little bit more sort of industrial, that one. A lot more buildings going on. Uh, oh, there we go. Welcome. Oh, so it happens more often than you'd think, actually, that. But that'll give us space for 12 people, I believe. These will do three each. Um, I feel like we could do with another laborer. Seeing as they, we have the option for them. And the farmer as well. Seems to be an awful lot of work just on his own there. Um, there we go. That's got finished. Oh, look at the little chickens. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> wow. We love the little chickens. Um, okay, so when more people come to turn up, we can accept them into our little village. Uh, yes. I will accept. And we reached a milestone. Awesome. Uh, so we got 50 coins for that. We also got the ability to build an inn. A stone camp, a coal maker, I suppose that's a charcoal maker, and a granary provides storage for food. Useful in the winter when crops are sparse. Okay, great. Um, so we'll claim that. We're going to slowly generate tax income. That's fine. But select a lumber camp to build a forester. Um, and then, a okay, yeah. So we're going to, is that's going to be an addition that we can add on there? Uh, 
to help with that. That's good. Uh, we can build a stone camp. I'm hoping... Uh, stone camps need to be connected to a resource. Okay. So I was hoping they would just go over there, but it looks like it actually has to go right over the top of that. Uh, and that's okay. There we go. Uh, we have a letter. Oh, Winifred. Hi, how's it going? Uh, Dearest Prince, my shining crusader, in these treacherous times even a warrior's heart seeks a haven. My marshals tell me your territory is fertile and easily fortified, and that you are quite athletic yourself. <laughs> They're lying. Uh, mayhap an alliance is in order of both heart and sword. Impress me. Uh, I, I, okay. Seem like a bit of a badass, to be honest with you, Meredith. There we go. So we have an open little courtyard there that now gets to the uh, the stone camp. Let's see. Oh, this. I wonder what happens. Oh, Forest is going to replant. Yes, of course. So that's good. Is that somebody's job, or do we, or does he work on both? I'm going to put another person working in there for the sake of it. Um. When this, I assume when this empties, it'll just go. Destroy. Oh, we can relocate it as well. well that's good. Uh, well, for now, it's probably fine where it is. I'm actually going to bring... Can we relocate this? Relocate. Cannot relocate objects with workers. Okay, well, let's remove you as workers. Let's relocate this here. And let's put workers back in. There we go. So we definitely got our sort of industrial area over here. We'll get a stone. Uh, no available fablings. What? Oh, each house requires someone, doesn't it? So, okay, well, in that case, lumber goes back down to one. So we can get some stone coming in. And I suppose then, in that, if that's the case, we need to start building some more houses for people. So let's do a, a basic homestead here. There we go. We'll do a little area there, chicken coop, and what else have they picked? Something? Yeah, that's fine. There we go. And we can welcome them. Uh, okay. So we can build a stockpile. A stockpile? Okay, food production, farm, granary. Build a stockpile. Is it? What's a stockpile? Oh, stockpile. Stores, uh, industrial resources attached to... Oh, okay. Well, in that case... I feel like that's probably fine there. Uh, store. Oh, we need to there add space to it. No. Edit mode. Oh, there we go. One. Oh, there we go. Three. Cool. And then I assume that move, that's more a more sort of permanent solution to this. Some buildings uh, have dynamic storage. Check the checkboxes to control which buildings are stored. That's fine. For now, everything can go there, I suppose. And yeah, that's going to get put in. Get some more logs in here. I hope the forester is replanting. Yes, that looks like something just went bloop as it got built, so that's good. Stone seems to be coming in thick and fast. Stockpile doesn't actually have a, a worker at the moment, so we'll give it a worker. Uh, we will accept our two visitors here. And Stockpile is going to be looking after wood and what have you. Yeah, so... Will they move everything over? Destroy. Coin spent will refund it. All materials will be lost. So I don't think we really want to do that. But hopefully they'll just start moving stuff over here. I think perhaps this stockpile won't hold uh, uh, vegetables. So, so industrial is done. Uh, management course. Select a fabling using the overview menu and assign a fabling to a workplace using the overview me menu. So where's the overview menu? Oh, here it is. Cool. Switch between tasks. Good. All right, so class peasants, unemployed. Uh, we do not wish you to be unemployed. Select. Assign a fabling to a workplace using the overview menu workplaces. Ah, here we go. 
uh, storage full in the farm. Okay, well, we're going to work on that in a moment. Lumber camp, stone, stockpile, laborers. So let's, we'll do another unemployed workers. Boom, there we go. So we have two in the lumber camp now. Produce coal in a coal maker and store vegetables in a granary. Territories, oh my word. Purchase a new territory. I don't know whether I want to right now, but I suppose we can. Tree, uh, fish, ruins. Cost 50 gold, not much. We'll take it. All right. We'll take that. Okay, so coal in a coal maker. So let's build the coal maker first. There we go. Uh, some buildings have a ne negative effect, of course. A lot of stinky coal buildings everywhere. Uh, but we'll put this over here. And that's sort of creating a bit of a dead end there, but we'll have to keep our housing to this side or, or down here, I suppose. That's okay, though. Um, that'll generate uh, coal. And then the granary. Let's see. That will be food production. Granary. There we are. And then this really needs to be over here by this farm. We've kind of boxed ourselves in over here, unfortunately. Uh, how do we edit that? I suppose we need to actually move this house. Cannot relocate objects with attachments. Uh, okay. Can't destroy any more foundations with this up. I think we're just going to have to destroy this one. Yes. Sorry, gang. We will rebuild in a moment. But first of all, let's just put this this way. Okay. Now, we should be able to put a granary at the end here. There we are. And then we can rebuild in not only one, but actually we can do uh, two houses here. There we are. So yes, I apologize that a couple of people are periodically homeless, but needs must. They're going to tell them, yes, you're, you're enjoying some free time without a house. I'm sorry about that. It won't be a moment. Please bear with us. Um, uh, coal is... It needs some stone. That's fine. They're working on it. Yeah. Well, it looks like it might just take a moment to get this one built, and then they'll head down here. I'm actually going to see if we can prioritize the construction here. I think I saw that thing. Yes, prioritize that construction. Thank you. So coal maker's finished. I assume it needs a worker. Yeah, there we go. We can generate some coal ready for the winter. And then everyone else is going to start sort of milling down with various things there. What are you doing? You're, work you're taking wood to the coal place. That's good. And then there's a couple of guys over there. We have uh, visitors. Uh, we could take them. It won't, oh, no, it won't let us unless we have the capacity. I mean, that's probably a good idea. There we go. Now we have capacity for one. Uh, if they're quick about it, we might be able to give us the other one as well. Uh, looks like they're going to require... It's interesting that they walk all the way around there. I suppose that kind of makes sense. Uh, can we move the well? Oh, that well is not going to be hitting there, so relocate. Let's do it to there. That should now get to that house too. There we are. And then let's... I'm not going to take a road up to there because this thing is is uh, temporary anyway. Once that gets once that runs out, we'll, uh, we won't need to worry about it anyway. There we go. Now the granary will get the get uh, built. We have our taxes to be claimed, and we can build an inn. I like the idea of building an inn. Let's have a look. Is that in um, amenities? I guess in. All right. Some buildings have a positive effect on the desirability of an area indicated by the green shape. Try and place those close to housing. Of course. Uh, I mean that seems to be the obvious one. There we do have a well in front of it, but. Uh, if we move the well, if we go there with the inn, that will compass all of the housing we currently have. Let's go there then. And then we can do housing all over here and a little bit here, but not too much because of the coal maker. Yeah. So let's build our last couple of houses here where we know we can do it. 
there we go and then they and then that's the end of the residential space that way i guess there we go uh, granary is done does that require staff it does we'll put somebody in there and they should then start to move welcome to more visitors yeah i'll take it and we reached a milestone great nobility can be used as a currency for special actions and items also influences some interactions with other rulers uh, we get 75 coin nice we also get a messengers guild we can now send messengers uh, to other realms to greet their rulers send messages and gifts we have a sawmill which means we can now make better uh, use of planks i suppose i'll turn wood into planks and then um we can also make wheat which i eventually assume we will have um a need for with a bakery there's a world event happening prince jonty our club stands proud with our love for stones but the other fabling seems to mock us for our belief can you help us show them the honor of stone gathering stone lovers club it's like the stonemasons um starts a quest deadline 30 days reward five ability the stone lovers gather 15 stone i mean i can't imagine how we can't do that uh we've generated nine coal i mean i feel like we should we should get that much stone do we do we maybe have another worker there we go let's get let's get some stone cooking there uh, we've moved vegetables to the granary. That's good. We have 60 over there now is the storage and there's 80 in the farm. So that seems very well. Uh, nice cabbages going on there. That's good. Uh, housing is in over here. Slowly been trickling over here as well. We have our inn. Uh, so I think what we need to do then is look at putting a path down this way to here. And then we can come right over to here with a path, and that'll give us two more plots for housing here. Uh, there we go. And here. And we might as well give them an extra little... Can we give them an extra little? Why not? Why not? And then we'll clear them out. As soon as we, as soon as we have the space for it, we'll put a chicken coop and a beehive. Sure. There we go. Might as well use the most of that little extra space there. Uh, we can't have any, so yes, for now, dismiss. Next month, though, we'll be able to bring in more people. Because uh, all these are generating revenue as well. I, I'm pretty sure these generate taxes, so that's good. Although money seems to be okay. We have an income of 34 with taxes. Our upkeep is third, minus 33, and our family aid is minus 4. I don't know, minus 5. I don't know what that means, but that's fine. Currently, we are in profit. And most of the buildings we've had so far, at least, look at this little storage thing there, it's so cool, um, have just generate, have just needed the resources to build them, not necessarily uh, coin. All right. Uh, where did our labourer hut end up? It's over here, isn't it? We actually don't have any more space for people there. Oh, my word, look at the state of this farm. I feel like this is going to take a long time. So now we are into the dead of winter. So the farm, I assume now at this point, shuts down. But we do have 215 vegetables sat there. And I, I, I have no idea how many vegetables they're using per day. Uh, but I feel like we're probably okay. We can keep welcoming in our visitors. And I think what we're going to do is just keep sort of filling out uh, these spaces here so that all of these spots have the workers they require. Uh, stockpile here can have a second worker. That's good. Uh, the farm can have a third worker. We currently don't have any available. That's fine. All right. Well, we have all different world events. Secret Santa. What a childish game. This is below me and my stature. Unfortunately for you, I wasn't given any instructions, so enjoy this. You deserve it. Uh, we get 40 coal. I'll take it. Uh, oh, sorry. Hold on. Uh, oh, that actually comes as an item we have to sort of unpackage does it material oh there we go yeah okay well thanks we'll claim that gather 15 stone we're currently at 10 and we have half our time gone so that's fine we should be able to gather uh, 15 stone uh, they're going to till the fields through the winter excuse me oh i'll be honest with you i don't know if you can send, tell that i'm grunting and i cleaned a <laughs> cleaned a cup with a tea towel before and it threw my back out and if that doesn't tell if that doesn't show you the mentality of man 
I absolutely feel so old. Um, Is that my old house? I left my retainer in there. Okay, we have this lovely building over here. Spread across the realm are different encounters. These encounters can only be interacted by with using your hero. This is an encounter and can be interacted using my hero. Who's my hero? I look forward to finding out who my hero is. I feel like, I mean, the snow, look at the snow. It's absolutely beautiful. I feel like we've slowed down massively on 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 stuff here. So our stockpile has no wood in it. There we go. That's the problem. We are, we have caught up with the production of wood. Okay. So the lumber camp, yeah, has three workers in there right now. Yeah. Yes, we'll welcome the one there. You should I want to welcome all? No, I'm sure I don't. Okay. Stuff's going on here. Uh, we probably say in our club, you can never have too much wood. Uh, I was called gather 70 wood in 30 days. No, we're not able to do that. I don't think. Uh, happy holidays. Secret Santa is one of the trade traditions. Accept gifts. Receives 100 vegetables. I mean, I'll take it. This one's gone. So we'll just replace that with another 100 vegetables. I assume somebody's coming in and picking that up. That's good. Uh, homestead has been completed, as has that one. Um, yeah, so it's actually wood is the is the deciding factor right now in how this stuff gets put together, but that's okay. We don't mind holding on a little. The trusty village inn, a personal favorite. Mm. The inn adds happiness to its surroundings. Nice. And the happier your kingdom is, the more efficient your workers get. It also helps attract more visitors. Nice. Oh, I'll take the visitors. Okay, what's what's this homestead saying here? What does that image mean? Missing coal. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully you'll get some. There we go. Okay. Uh, Mrs. and happiness to their surroundings as long as they're open. That's good. We, this is what I'm talking about. We need to assign a worker. There we go. We now have, that cost us money to keep it going. That's fine. But otherwise they take veg and bread and fish. It sort of an ends this. Where's your beer? Um, but we gather the stone lovers. That's good. We built the inn. That's good. We reached the small village population. And now we have to look at generating planks and we're coming out of the winter so that seems good i feel uh we now have uh 50 coins coming in oh we're doing really good on coin there that's great okay um all right let's have a look at rejigging this around and moving it can we do that we locate with workers that's fine we'll get rid of uh, owen for a moment and then i'm actually going to look at bringing you right over here boop and We'll bring a path up to you. There we go. And you can carry on. We'll give you Owen back, maybe. We do as well. That's great. And then it just opens this option up for more housing later on as well. Um, I imagine the plank uh, probably is going to be a bit smelly as well. There's the sawmill. Yeah. Oh, wow. Has a big negative read on it, doesn't it? Look at that. But I think, again, we can do the same... Uh, we can bring it right over to the edge here. And it not be a huge problem. There we go. Uh, we'll welcome... We can welcome both. Yeah, bring them in. Come and get us. Population 25 got us an achievement. Nice. Um, and then what we can do is move look, move, look at moving the lumber camp over here as well. Laborer's hook can come down this side, but for now at least, I think we're doing okay. Um, and then, yeah, next episode we'll get some saw planks going, a messages guild, but otherwise, people are happy. Building what is needed. Uh, build, produce, expand. Our research shows that you are twice as likely to find a suitable match in your kingdom is granted and effective. What do you say? Um, in 90 days, we need to build six homesteads, three food production structures, and three research production structures. I mean, that seems intense i'm going to decline that one that seems a little bit too much for us we do, we we're very careful not to over expand in these kind of games and i think right now we're doing a fine job uh, thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it till the next one be good 